Hello, my name is Cream, and welcome back to Victoria 2 as United States. Okay, so we are getting closer and closer to Civil War. Okay, New Orleans now will get okay, so more and more cores in South are getting CSI cores. Or CSA. Okay, let's hope that there won't be any CSA course on Texas. Okay, there is there are the CSA course on Louisiana, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia. And that's all. Let's hope that it won't it won't spread. That those rebels come won't spread anymore. Oh, Colombia, we you can be in our sphere of influence. Nice. So let's add you into a sphere. And now who's gonna be our next sphere on in our sphere of influence next? Japan, it would be nice. You are primitives. But you would be great power. You know what? Yeah, Japan, you're gonna be high priority. Next, Brazil, you would be great ally. Or would you? Ecuador or Colombia, if any, do you have any calls on anyone? Oh, okay. You, Colombia does not have any cores, but Gran Colombia has some cores on Venezuela. Argentina. Any chance of alliance? You will not accept because distance infamous. No, screw you. Brazil, what about you? Oh, you would accept, great. Brazil, you're gonna be our... You're also gonna be in our sphere of influence. Okay, can we colonize... those islands? No, being life, life rating is too low. No problem. Oh, can we colonize Alyashka? Nope, life rating, life rating is too low. Okay, Rebel Scum is now in where? Arkansas. Arkansas. Where is Arkansas? Where are you hiding here? Rebel Scum. Oh, Washington, we, we can create protectorate out of Washington, great. Okay, 0.9% of population are clergymen, 0.12% are clerks. Rebels come in District of Columbia, are you serious? Rebels come will get claim on District of Columbia. Unitarism in America. The rise of numerous sects within Protestant Christianity in the United States in the early 19th century would create an environmental environment, environment, environment for further theological speculation. One of the most influential movements to arise from this would be American Unitarism, emphasizing the role of reason in understanding the theology, and thus rejecting, rejecting the concept of Trinity, and the inherent inherent goodness of humanity and its capability for improvement because of reason. Unitarism would become very in influential among the middle class of upper class population. Anyway, among middle, middle and upper class populations in the north, northeastern USA and encourage several, several movements of social improvement and from public education to abolitionism. Faith and reason can be 
recalculate to improve humanity. All population in USA will support liberal. All liberal in USA will get one consciousness. Okay, you two match together, and we need more more soldiers or more brigades. Okay, more rebels come now in Missouri. You know, we have those two nas uh, national focuses, so let's do something else with them. New York, let's encourage soldiers. And Pennsylvania, let's do the same with you. War between Spain and Morocco. Army says sign victory. Okay, war between United States and Mexico ended in our glorious victory. Okay, upper house rearranged, and we can uh, increase opinion of uh, in Brazil. A southern, a southern belle, uh, clad in her white dress, throwing down the streets of Charleston. Her radiance, nobility, and simple, simple beauty turned heads, speaking, speaking her gentleness, sickness, hospitality, and accent, all draped. In fa f flavor of magnolias, soft cotton, and southern varangats, var varants. Do the same. Virtue, honor, and dignity in manifest from such are, are the women in of are the women of South. A toast to Dixie, to Ark Knight, to Southern Labor. Aristocrats and populists will gain consciousness, or crassers and laborers. To Ark Knights. Okay, our ships, you will. You go to Long Island. Okay, border ruff ruffians, the flames leak the log cabin and wooden houses, throwing the clear orange glow up the st starry night sky. Only slight slightly observed by the plumes of smoke peeling up from the town. He rides down Main Street with strange shadow st shadows dancing about him as he goes. Come out, come out, wherever you are. He screams. Far away in the city, gunshots echoes against the screams of dying men. Border, border ruffians intent on making Minnesota a slave state. Have crossed the border into Granite Falls and raided small outlying settlements in their territory. Claim new enact an ordinance to stop them. He enact ordinance to stop them. And now Kentucky become oh CSI will get claim on Kentucky, which is unfortunate. Okay, Long Island. Okay, we cannot expand naval base there. He stays in Pennsylvania, and their abilities must be respected. Like still, we still need more. We need. We still need more soldiers. We can grant the field sixteen brigades if we mobilize our poor, poor citizens. But let's lower taxes on poor class. Let's go with seventy-five percent. And let's lower classes on middle. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea. Coronation of Queen Victoria. But what we could do is to is lower tariffs. Let's go with twenty percent for now. Okay, factories. Are we? Okay, we still we are still subsidizing some of them. Okay, we are losing money. Screw that. So 
tariffs. Let's keep tariffs at 25%. Okay, ships, you will merge together. We really need that civil war to start as soon as possible. Oh, we can, okay, we can expand rail, railroad in New Mexico, but let's not do that. We will need that money. Those money. Now, oh, how unfortunate. Okay, can we colonize? Oh, Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii, you're going to be our, in our sphere of influence. Japan. How, ma how many points we are getting? 0 0.1, Brazil, 0. Brazil, I don't think you are that important. Nope, you are not that important. Japan and Hawaii are. Let's improve relations with uh, Hawaii and Japan. Okay, we have our relations with Brazil are already 200, so we cannot do anything. Okay, United States, we are fifth great power, and we are getting close to Prussia. Oh, nice. Okay, newspaper, so what's happening? Coronation of King Victoria. And I don't see anything else. So iron, uh, iron muzzle loaded artillery is going to be finished in, oh, unquote, okay, it's going to be finished in February 11th. Okay, so few more months. American Anti-Slavery Society. Founded in 1833, the American Anti-Slavery Society was organization on the forefront of the American abolitionist movement. With notable members such as Frederick Douglass and Abby Kelly Foster, the society organized meetings, speaking, speakings, and even published a weekly newspaper between 1840 and 1870, all with the aim to abolish slavery in the United States. The society was has now opened in a charter in Saginaw. We could attempt to prevent the charter from forming, but that would be perceived as assault on our Republican tradition. No, leave it be. We want to abolish slavery. Oh. We need alliance with, with some, some great power. Friends, you okay? You are allied with Russia. Russia is great power. France, you are allied with Russia. That's unfortunate. So those two are those. Those four are friends. Austria, you will not accept alliance because too many alliances, base reluctance, infamy, government tie, which is unfortunate. Spain, alliance, negative relations, and I do not want those. I do not want this, this alliance. You're going to be at war soon. Ottomans, negative relations, so let's improve relations with you. I don't think you will accept that, but let's try it. Oh, Japan, let's increase our, our, your opinion of us. Oh, Hawaii, can we invest in Hawaii? Oh, we can. I don't think we can invest in Japan. Nope. Can we Can we invest in Brazil? Yes, we can. So let's invest in Brazil. Work harder or smarter? Let's work... Let's work smarter. Okay, our infamy is going down. Slowly but steadily. Still, we cannot have more... We still cannot have more... Energy. Brigades. Browse the mirror. 
rearranged and an election in the United States are starting. Okay, elections gonna be held in July 1st. Oh, you can have more ships. Finally, Iron Muzzle, Muzzle Loaded Actera is finished. Now, let's research Romanticism. And this is going to be finished in November, November 7th of next year. Okay, it's going to take so long. Okay, so Tennessee, or CSA will get course on Tennessee, or in Tennessee. Okay, we can create state in Florida, so yeah, let's do that. And do not extend slavery. Military and defense debate in a local election. Okay, so. Our political party, Democrats, are... Okay, we want what? Anti-military? Oh, we definitely do not want anti-military. Okay, Democratic, Democratic Party, you are jingoist. Anti-military definitely not gonna happen. Pro-military? Yep. We will see how much we can spend on their food. All population in, UN, in the United States become 15% more in favor of pro-military. Also, we have some decision. Clyde and Douglas draft. Oh, Fugitive Slave Act. Average Consciousness at least 5. Ostend Manifesto. Again, Average Consciousness at least 5. Okay, Clark, Clay and Douglas Draft. Senators and Henry Clark and, and Stephen A. Douglas have presented a draft, a draft proposal for compromise on the slavery issue. Centered around the premise of popular sovereign, sovereignty as the determinant for slavery or abolitionism in the territories. By supporting the draft proposal, we could calm tensions over the slavery issue for at least some time. All population in the United States will lose their consciousness, yeah? Is it a good idea? I don't think it's good. Is it a good idea for now? We could, we could use this Fugitive Slave Act. All population will lose more consciousness and this Okay, we would gain some infamy. Relations with France, United States, Russia, Prussia, Austria, Spain would go down. Oh, okay, with all great powers. What's this Ostend, Ostend manif Manifesto? Propose that, proposes that the island of Cuba should be annexed by to the United States as a slave state to balance the expected influx of new free state in the West. By supporting the manifesto, we can calm tension over the slavery issue domestically, but it might reduce our standing with the European Great Power significantly. Screw that. Let's go with Clay and Douglas Draft. Our consciousness went down by a lot. Still 14 possible brigades. Artillery attack, engineer attack, dragoon attack, cover attack, and aerial attack went up. Nice. Newspaper, war between Ottoman Empire and Egypt. Ottoman Empire will gonna win. Okay, romanticism, still. Okay, still November 6th of next year. It's gonna take almost two years to research it. Research it. Okay, we, we need more research points. We need more clergymen and clerks. We definitely are against pacifism, anti-military, pro-military, Islam. No. 10% of flavor of, part, part, uh, and of pacifism, so we need... We are patriots and we are going to fight for our country. All population in the United States become 10% 10 more in favor of jingoism. Okay, Hawaii. Let's increase your opinion. Brazil, you are at war, right? 
Brazilian li liberation of Paraguay and Mato Grosso. I will accept. Oh, wait, I'm pretty sure you can defeat them. Oh, you are fighting for one state? Oh, so, elections are finished. Democratic Party, eight, almost 90%. Okay, so we are at war with Paraguay, Argentina, and Peru. Okay, Colombia, join our war. They will accept, and same USCA. What's this? Oh, some rebels? Oh, you need help. Cool ally, you will accept. So how many transports do we have? Three. It's not much. Let's we need more. Right now we have what? Five seven units, so we need four more transports. So let's build more transports. Oh, and we have clipper or steam. Okay, we have clipper. Steam steamers are better, right? Or they are they're, yeah, they are definitely better. Definitely better max speed. And they have better hull. Yeah, let's build steam transports. Let's build nine of them. Immediate, immediately. Okay, we, are, we need more... What? Steamer... Steamer convoys. So before we can help Brazil, they, we, we, we need transports. Okay, they together have 16 military strength. Without us? Yeah, USA, Colombia, Ch Chile and Brazil can deal with them. It's Peru, Argentina and Paraguay. Brazil can deal with Par Paraguay and Argentina. Chile can deal with Argentina. Colombia and USA can deal with Peru. Okay, you are what? El Salvadorian nationalists? Damn it, we need to deal with those guys. The corn pro pro produced in Tallahassee is one of the highest possible quality and strength. So strong, in fact, that the Tallahassee cotton that the white balls harvested there have begun building quite a reputation for those some as being some of the best available in the world. The local reputation has built for some quite uh, for, for, some, for quite some time now. And the local farmers have begun to taking pr pride in the fact that in the world of cotton, Tallahassee is by word for quality. Gain more prestige. And Krakow will get better relations. Screw that. You don't know. Send some to our neighbors. Japan, let's improve your opinion. So right now, you you are we are friendly with you. You have called your relations with Hawaii. <laughs> well, we need... Okay, we are waiting for three more steamers, or steam transports. F 15 more days. Okay, we are building you in... Uh, Lewiston. Oh, we can have more. We can have more brigades. Finally, okay. Washington, you gonna be meeting place for those guys, and let's build more artillery units. You go to Washington. Okay, second fleet, you arrived. Now, you as a to transport, and let's send you to USCA. First, we have to deal with those n nationalists. War between France and Tunis. Brazil go to Brazil goes to war. Okay, Hawaii. Increase opinion, so we are now friendly. 
Oh, we are very friendly relations with Brazil, so soon they they soon gonna be in our sphere of influence. The Apache Mars, the New Mexico Apache, led by men calling himself himself Victorio, have risen up and massacred set, several settlers in the state, provoked by the ever increase increasing incursions by the white men into territory traditionally considered a part of Apache homeland. Victorio and his band refuse to submit to the United States authority. They will submit sooner or later. Okay, first squadron, you are landing in Puerto Lampira. Screw it. Let's land in Limon. Okay, now let's kill this, those guys, those nationalists. Let's, well, hope, let's hope if we're gonna kill them. Yeah, we have now we now we have more men. Their organization is going down. Oh, they are retreating to blue fields. So let's so let's follow them. And now let's hope we're gonna kill them. Ambassador insulted. Send an official letter thanking them, thanking them for their time and and negotiations. We gain, we gain more prestige. You know what? USA, you can deal with those with, with that siege. So our guys, you you'll return to Limon. And now, attach your transports and let's return home. Land in Baltimore. Oh no, Washington will can sustain us. Or well, there, 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 there are enough supplies in Washington, so land, land there. Okay, you. You have you have too many artillery units. So one will stay here. Okay, everyone else load into transports and let's go to Curitiba. And you and damn it, you gonna let's wait until those ships will disappear. Okay, you two, you gonna merge together, and we need wait until you are reinforced. Paraguay one peace offer. Paraguay, you are here with this army. Great. Yeah. Brazil, you don't want anything else. No. Nope. Let's proceed. So ships, you can return home. Land in Washington. And you go to Pittsburgh. And we need more guys. So again, let's build more artillery. Also, let's build one more steamer in Long Island. And we can delete all those clipper transports, which we don't need anymore. Okay. Commerce traders, they are also, okay, they are also using those steamers. Okay, frigates, we don't need you. Commerce traders are faster, they have better attacks, better hull, bigger fire, firing range. You know what, let's build more co commerce traders. At this moment, we have how many light ships? Nine. So let's switch. So let's go from frigates, frigates to commerce traders. Okay, we have some projects. So let's invest in those projects. And the essays. Ralph Waldo Emerson first collection of the essays was published in eight in 1841, and introduced the world to, the, to new, rather, rather mystical philosophic, 
philosophy in, in, in indigenous to the new world. Although many Europeans didn't consider him much a philosopher per se, his influence on the con continental thinking was unmistakable, most significantly in Nietzsche. Speech is a kind of act. Gain more prestige and all population of US United States become 10% more in favor of moralism. Also, it's time to finish this episode here. It, once again, it's a little bit longer than I was hoping. But I, I think it's it doesn't it's not a problem. It's not it's not a big problem. Okay, so if you if you enjoyed this episode, please continue watching and have a nice rest of your day. Goodbye.